Ever since the onset of modern industrialization, factories have been the cornerstone of business and production all over the world. And whether they're making cars or microchips, they're not showing any signs of slowing down. But as with all things, some are bigger than others. Much, much bigger. Let's take a look at the top 15 largest factories on Earth. Number 15. NASA Vehicle Assembly Building When you have dreams and ambitions to go to outer space, you're going to need a big shuttle, and an even bigger rocket, and a massive facility to build and store everything. So it makes sense that the NASA Vehicle Assembly Building is a pretty big one. You can find NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building between Miami and Jacksonville in Florida, and it's earned its place not only on our list, but the largest single-story building in the world. So despite how tall it is, there's just one floor, so when you're standing inside and looking straight up at the ceiling, it may have you feeling like you're looking all the way up into outer space. The factory was built in 1996 to allow for the proper assembly of the Saturn V rocket that was used for NASA's famous Apollo program. The building itself measures 32,000 square meters and has 3.6 million cubic meters of volume. Talk about a lot of space. Yes, pun very much intended. The factory also covers just over 8 acres of land and is 525 feet tall. And so while it's by no means the tallest building in the world, just take a look at that thing. It may be one of the biggest boxes in the world then. But what makes NASA's factory really cool are the 465-foot doors that'll have you feeling like you're entering the gates of heaven. That is, if the rockets don't get you up there first. Number 14. Mayavef Dachala 2 it's no secret that Germany is a powerhouse when it comes to vehicular production. They've given us BMW, the Volkswagen, Audis, and the lovable Porsche. But they also know how to produce ships as well, and that's where the Mayavef Dachala II comes into play. Founded all the way back in 1795, it's home to the largest shipping hall in the world with an amazing floor area of 63,000 square meters. The entire facility is used to construct and house cruise ships, so it makes sense that they're going to need a gargantuan home in between trips. This place is absolutely insane. When you move over to the roofed dry dock, don't bother trying to use a tape measure, because it's got a length of 504 meters, a width of 125 meters, and a height of 75 meters. That's one big building. Some of the ships that have been assembled in the Dokhala 2 are the famous Norwegian Star, the Norwegian Dawn, Radiance of the Seas, and the Norwegian Jewel. So if you're a cruise ship aficionado, see if you can hit the beer hall and then the dock hall too in Germany. Number 13. Arium Big ships need a big place to stay, and that's why the Germans built the Arium during World War II. Initially intended to be an airship hangar, the Arium is a ridiculously big factory that was built at the tail end of the Second World War and was occupied until 1945 when the Red Army seized control. But the Soviets wanted to make things bigger and better, so they made the runway bigger. A lot bigger. Originally a thousand meters long, they upped the ante and made it 2,500 meters long. Now the Arium was the perfect place for fighter planes. But then in 1994, after the reunification of East Germany, the Soviet Army returned the base to the German government as a sign of goodwill. To make things even more complicated, the private company Cargo Lifter bought Arium, only to go bankrupt six years after the fact. Today, the Arium is owned by a Malaysian-based company that turned the facility into a tropical theme park, which makes sense, seeing as how the dome-shaped building probably generates plenty of heat and humidity in the warmer months. Number 12. Constellation Bristol Do you like wine? How about beer? Have you ever wanted to drown in it? Well, the Constellation Bristol in the United Kingdom is your dream come true. It's one of the largest wine and beer warehouses in the world, with an insane 850,000 square feet of space. But just how much booze can a place that big carry, you may ask? Well, it's holding on to about 9.5 million gallons of alcohol. That's enough liquid to fill up about 14 Olympic-sized swimming pools. So if you're at the Constellation Bristol, then you better be going for the gold. Just make sure you take a cab home. The factory is home to 57 million wine bottles, which make up about 15% of the UK's wine market, and could probably even be considered its own economy. Maybe. The Constellation Bristol took about three years to build and cost £100 million, but all of the wine connoisseurs out there are happy, that's for sure. The factory is also bottling about 800 bottles of wine every minute, so if you're good at math, you'll know that that's 6 million bottles produced every day. The world will never go thirsty again. 
Number 11. Tesco Ireland Distribution Center Next up on our list is the biggest building in Ireland, the Tesco Ireland Distribution Center. The factory's been open since 2007, and since then they've been a major distributor of electrical goods and dry groceries. Those two things may not always go together, but hey, somebody's got to do it. The factory itself measures a whopping 80,000 square meters, and it's about a half a mile in length. If you're a runner, that's a great place to get a good workout as you jog around the facility. And if you're walking the distance of the building from end to end, you better take some time off, because that walk typically takes 12 minutes. So if you've got an important message that needs to get across the building fast, well, it's probably best just to send it in an email or to hop in a golf cart. But if you're looking to get your steps in, then maybe the Tesco Ireland Distribution Center is the best place to work out 40 hours a week. The center has got an amazing 100 loading bays and cost a total of about 70 million euros to build. And if you really want to mess with the delivery guy, just tell them to meet you at the loading dock. Number 10. Lauma Fabrics Sometimes when you talk about factories, things can get a little smooth, sultry, and steamy. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, you better believe it when you're talking about the Lauma Fabrics Factory out in Liepaja, Latvia. The Lauma Fabrics Factory specializes in lace, elastic ribbons, fabric, and other raw materials for lingerie, making it a real crowd pleaser. But Lauma is one of the industry's biggest producers, so naturally it's got the largest fabric company in the world. That's a whole lot of loving. The factory measures 115,000 square meters and has a 225 meter length and a 505 meter width with curves in all the right places. But in all seriousness, this place is insanely huge and probably pretty loud. Construction of the Lauma Fabrics Factory began in 1965 when Latvia's unemployment was at an all-time high, meaning it provided the country with thousands and thousands of much-needed jobs, even when it was first named Women's Toiletry Production Factory before making the change to Lauma Fabrics. Number 9. Jean-Luc Lagardère Plant Not to be confused with the French New Wave director or the captain of the Starship Enterprise, the Jean-Luc Lagardère plant is an enormous factory that houses enormous airplanes. It's mostly used as a final assembly line for the production of the Airbus A380, which has a whopping 800 seats on board and cost a big $428 million to make. The plant is found in toulouse blagnac in France and has an assembly line that's 470 meters long and the building itself takes up 120,000 square meters. It's pretty big. But what makes this place so interesting is the majority of the Airbus A380's parts are manufactured elsewhere, places like Spain, the UK, and Germany. But they're all brought to this plant for the grand finale. The final product is tested here as well. No Airbus is getting into the sky without proving its salt at the giant Jean-Luc Lagardère plant. The total surface area of the plant is just under 500 acres, so naturally it's home to the company's restaurants, energy production plants, and 49 acres of runway. All the plant needs is a hotel, and you'll never have to leave. Number 8. Target Import Warehouse We love to shop, but how does everything get on the shelves just for you? Well, it's got to come from somewhere. That's why Target has their import warehouse, duh. And seeing as how Target is the second largest discount retailer in the United States, they need a lot of space to accommodate everything. The Target import warehouse has a total surface area of 185,000 square meters to store all of its home goods, Blu-rays, holiday cards, and knickknacks. And as the name of the factory suggests, the company built a ginormous warehouse for the purposes of bringing all of their imported products to international distribution centers, meaning everything goes from one warehouse to another over and over again before it sits on the shelf. It's quite the commute, but seeing as how Target has almost 2,000 stores across North America, it makes sense that they've got that much stuff across that much space. Number 7. Belvedere Assembly Plant Sometimes it feels like there are more cars in the world than people, especially if you're living in a major city like New York or Tokyo. But every story starts somewhere, and as for the Chrysler Company, that story starts in Illinois at the Belvedere Assembly Plant. The plant is exactly what it sounds like and assembles major car brands like the Jeep Compass, Jeep Patriot, and the Dodge Dart, and the list could really go on forever. And all of those cars can't get too cozy next to one another, which is why the Belvedere assembly plant measures 330,000 square meters, 700 meters long, and 300 meters wide. Spread over 280 acres of land, that's a lot of cars and even more land. But don't expect to see people working tirelessly on the assembly line at the plant and enjoying all of that space, because the majority of the workforce are robots, about 780 of them. 
and while it's unfortunate that they haven't been programmed to really explore the factory, at least they don't get tired when walking from one end of the factory to the other, assuming they can even walk. Number 6. Mitsubishi Motors, North America Taking the number 6 spot on our big list of even bigger factories is Mitsubishi Motors, North America. Founded in 1981, Mitsubishi Motors North America oversees the manufacturing, production, sales, research, and development of the Mitsubishi car brand across the United States, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Canada. It's a one-stop shop that can pretty much do it all. And when you have big orders and bigger shoes to fill, you're going to need a massive amount of space, especially when you're working with a network of over 700 car dealers like this factory is. Try 220,000 square meters of factory space. You can probably even race the cars from one end of the factory to another if you get bored. And with that much space, there's no shortage of scenery, even if it's just a factory full of moving parts as far as the eye can see. And if you're just absolutely dying to visit the Mitsubishi Motors North America factory and see how it all gets done, then you can find it in the aptly named city of Normal, Illinois. Number 5. Boeing Factory Now we're getting really big. The Boeing factory in Everett, Washington is a doozy. It's also the largest Boeing facility in the world with a brain-busting 398,000 square meter floor area, and it covers almost 100 acres of land, 98.3 to be exact. And while that may sound excessive, the Boeing factory in Everett is where they make their famous 747, 767, and 777 models, which are definitely not on the small side. You can even find the new 787 Dreamliner being assembled in this Goliath factory. Construction started in 1966 after Pan American World Airways placed an order for 25 of the 747s, which ran them about $525 million. And when something is this big, you can bet your bottom dollar that it functions almost like its own city. If you can't get a job at Boeing itself but still want a piece of the action, then maybe you can work as a barista in Tully's Coffee Stands, full cafes, Boeing store, and a theater. Or you can even be a tour guide on their Future of Flight Aviation Center and Boeing tour. All the Everett Boeing factory is missing is someone dressed as a mascot to take pictures with the kids. Number 4. Tesla Motors If you thought that a list of factories was going to forget about the Tesla factory, then think again. Elon Musk loves fast cars and hot new toys, which is why he's got one of the world's largest factories to help make all of his billionaire childhood dreams come true. Sitting in Fremont, California, Tesla Motors focuses just on the production of electric cars and their electric powertrain components. Because if they were able to pack any of Elon Musk's other projects, they would probably need their own state. This giant automobile car production facility takes up about 510,000 square meters of space, and probably can be seen from space. Okay, so maybe not. But Mr. Musk, if you're listening, there's an idea for you. The factory is actually a repurposed General Motors and Toyota factory, formerly known as New United Motor Manufacturing. But the old name was a bit of a mouthful to say. And how much did Tesla pay for that old factory? You're looking at a check for $42 million when they bought it in 2010. All of the fun fast cars like the Tesla Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Roadster are put together in this fabulous Fremont factory. Number 3. Alsmere Flower Auction Building While it may not be a mainstream factory, the Alsmere Flower Auction Building still deserves a coveted spot on this list. Situated on a nice piece of green land in the Netherlands, the Alsmere Flower Auction Building lives up to its name because, well, it's home to the largest flower auction in the world. Didn't know there was such a thing as a flower auction? Well, now you do. And the building itself is absolutely huge. It covers 518,000 square meters of space, 740 meters long, and is another 700 meters wide. Talk about flower power. That much space means a lot of flowers, so you better bring all of the allergy medicine in the world with you if you're planning on stepping foot in there. The Ellesmere Flower Auction Building sees around 25 million flowers from places like Kenya, Colombia, Ethiopia, and Ecuador pass through the doors each and every day. The building also sits on about 243 acres, making for some of the best-smelling real estate in the world. Number 2. Hyundai Motor Company's Ulsan Factory Moving all the way to South Korea now is the Hyundai Motor Company factory in Ulsan. The factory has five separate production plants and cranks out a brand new car every 12 seconds. We're not joking, so you're looking at about 1.52 million units a year. 
The factory in Ulsan can easily be seen from an airplane overhead because it's spread out across 1,225 acres of land and has a total area of 5 million square meters. That's ridiculous, but also necessary when you're one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world. The site is so freakishly big that it's got its very own hospital, fire department, road network, and sewage treatment plant. There's even a pier that can host up to 350,000 ton cargo ships at a time, and they've planted 500,000 trees to keep the air nice and fresh for their employees. Number 1. Volkswagen Wolfsburg Plant We made it, the granddaddy of all factories. The Volkswagen Wolfsburg Plant has given the world over 40 million cars over time, and is obviously the largest auto plant in the world, with an area of 6.5 million square meters. It's also probably the greatest indoor hide-and-seek venue in the world. Okay, that part we made up, but it'd be worth a shot. The factory is so big that the workers get around by bicycle, and they can even work on at least five cars at a time without losing efficiency or quality assurance. So if you're going to work here, then you've got to be good, and you've got to be in good shape, too. The Wolfsburg plant is also home to a state-of-the-art paint shop, which is the first of its kind to use an eco-friendly water-based paint. But good luck giving that giant factory a new paint job. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.